Browns hosting the Cardinals, and the Browns are now 11.5 point favorites. The over-under is at 38.5. The Cardinals are plus 480 on the money line, and the Browns are minus 650. Now, considering that they traded Dobbs to the Vikings, this is the Cardinals actively trying to tank. And I don't care what anyone says. There's no way that you trade a serviceable quarterback who could win you games if you're trying to win. And they are not trying to win. Now, Head-to-head, the Cardinals are 5-0 against the Browns in their last five meetings. The favorite is 3-2 on the money line. The underdog is 3-2 against the spread. The over is hit in their last three. The over is 3-1-1. The over 38.5 is 4-1, and and the home team is 3-2. Now, maybe that stat that the Cardinals are 5-0 against the Browns had something to do with the fact that they're like, well, maybe, just maybe, one win could be the difference between the number one pick and the number three pick. Let us get the guy who could possibly win this game out of here. It's supposed to be Watson versus Toon. Now, the Cardinals are one and seven overall. They are four, three, and one against the spread, and the over is five and three in the games in which they played in. The Browns are four and three. They're four and three against the spread, and the over under is three, three, and one. It could have been, you know, for all intents and purposes, that the Cardinals realized that they got what they got out of Dobbs and strike while the iron's hot people see that he can actually play someone's going to be desperate like the vikings were let's see where it goes now the cardinals are one and nine in their last 10 they are five four and one against the spread and the over is six and four in their last 10. they lost to the ravens by seven last week they lost to the seahawks by 10 the week before they lost to the rams by 25 by 27 the week before that they lost by 14 to the bengals the week before that. They really have not been playing well. For the Browns, they're five and five. They're five and five against the spread, and the under is five, four, and one. They lost to the Seahawks by four, beat the Colts by one, beat the Niners by two, lost to the Ravens by 25, and then beat the Titans by 24. I understand that Deshaun Watson has not looked good, and PJ Walker may not be much better, but the Browns defense is for real. And I don't know how many points Clayton Toon is going to put up on the board because that's who the Cardinals' starting quarterback is supposed to be. I'm going to take the Browns with the money line. I'm going to take the Browns laying the points. And I'm going to go under because I do think that the Browns will probably be the team that's scoring most of the points in this game. I just don't know if it's going to be 38. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.